But I'm sure you're going to manage wonderfully. Uh, yes, uh, my English uh, remain very, very problematic. But uh, this is not so important because si somebody catch only a little piece of my ideas, this is absolutely sufficient because Dalinian ideas possess one tremendous power of germination. Well, I quite see that. And also I would beg of you to speak and speak ceaselessly even if you don't speak in English because I'm always accused of speaking and I want to speak as little as possible otherwise I shall be torn limb from limb. The first question that I wanted to put to you, it really ought to be about modern art, but I can't help it. There's some delicious frivolity in you which makes me ask it is, how did you manage to produce those marvelous moustaches? Uh, in the beginning of uh, this moustache, you use one very natural product, the uh, like death, mm. you know, the fruit. I know. In the last moment of dinner, uh, not clean my finger. Yes. Only put a little in my moustache, remind for all afternoon, very, uh, very efficient, efficient, efficiently. Mm. Well, and but that's how it began. Yes, but now use one real product, very good, in the Place Vendôme, is Hungarian wax. Oh, yes. Pino. It's and very well known wax. is already Proust, Marcel Proust, is the same. Yes, but his was a little pointed one, wasn't it? It didn't have a splendid up uh, turn yes, like yours. Yes, his is a uh, wax, may use this wax in one other manner, in one other mood, in one depressing psychosis uh, way. Yes, you know, I see. A little depressing and melancholic. Mm. My moustache, contrarily, is very gay, very, very gay. pointed, very aggressive. Aggressive. Do you have any trouble with it at night? I mean, do you have to peg it or anything like that, or does it stand up at night? No, in the night, uh, clean every night. Mm. It becoming soft, uh, sleep. So at uh, night it droops down while you're sleeping. Completely, completely. And then in the morning, up she goes again. Three minutes. Only in three minutes, fix my moustache. And then you feel you can face the world with that one form of star standing up. Yes, because uh, every day becoming much more practical for my inspiration. But I'm so fascinated to know that. Mr. Dolly, you come over, haven't you, to paint a portrait of Sir Laurence Olivier? Yes, exactly. Yes, How's right. it going? It's uh, very good, very good. Only about 15 minutes is almost complete. You did the whole thing in 15 minutes? Uh, Sir Laurence, uh, take two hours for put the makeup, the nose, everything. Mm. And mm. myself, in 15 minutes, uh, accomplish uh, the portrait. Mm. Now it's necessary only realization of this mm. This is perhaps one but month. But it's the everything, it? everything is in, in my mean, very clear and mm. very violent. Is it going to be a, um, a what we would regard perhaps in our old fashioned way as a somewhat eccentric picture? Is it going to have lobsters and things like that in it, or is it just going, is it going to be like him? This uh, portrait, in my opinion, is perhaps one of the most sensational. It's not possible talk nothing in advance because everything is possible happen in my life. And nobody looked this portrait before it's completely finished. But in your this mind. is my condition for mm -hmm. the start of this portrait. Also no like it paint uh, the legend, historical uh, the legend of Shakespeare, no like it paint the historical people, no like it paint Sir Laurence Olivier, no like it paint this character in the film, like it produce one integral and complete Dalinian portrait. Good, well, we shall all look forward to seeing it. He is, I believe, in the costume of this film, Richard III, in which he's appearing, isn't he? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Do you bring that out, the costume? No, ticking knots is sufficient, like mm. a very much one animal mm. in the center of... Comment ça s'appelle en anglais, le sanglier? The sanglier, the blood, you mean, the spirit? No, 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 the sanglier, this animal with... Uh, oh, the sanglier, sanglier the, 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 what the hell is uh, sanglier? Uh, rhinoceros, is it? Oh, it's a little design. A little tiny uh, thing. What's it like? Describe it. C'est le, 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 uh, uh, c'est un porc avec des longs dents. Oui, 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 oui. c'est un boar. C'est un boar, c'est un boar. C'est le, le totem, c'est exactement le totem of Richard. The, yes, so it's, uh, that Sir Lawrence and Richard III will be both resemble this delicious animal with the teeth. And so exactly, on. it's one big collar in enamel, gold enamel, 
mm. and precious stones in the center mm. uh, represent the totem of mm. this. I animal. can't wait to see it. When should we have Very it? aggressive mm. animal, you know. Very I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes. Mr. Dolly, who, apart from yourself, would you regard as a good portrait painter today? Uh, myself believe there's no exist one who? in modern time. Nobody at all. Have you ever Picasso seen... Picasso is the only uh, possible create extraordinary good portraits. May not like it, this kind of activity. Augustus John, do you like... Have you ever seen any of his portraits? Uh, it's a very big ability in the drawing. Mm. Very good draftsmanship in mm. the drawing. But the painting appears to me... The same characteristics of the other English painters, you know, very dirty and very melancholy, sad and depressing, mm. very depressing. You feel that our art as a whole suffers from an undue excess of melancholy, really. Much melancholy. I noticed you'd been to see some exhibition and there was a donkey there in it. And yes, you uh, just uh, in the, can talk about this melancholy remember this exhibit every w of one of these is very young uh, British painters everyone paint the more sad and melancholy kind of animals fish people houses all everything it. very dirty also only the more dirty colors and the more depressing effects now, why do you think that is? Why should they all be so sad? Why should they paint this poor old donkey with such a sad, sad This is sad one, uh, no understand the reason that these young people is so melancholic. No understand. No. Because of myself belief, contrary to the modern atomic age, is very gay. Mm. BBC Four Collections, specially chosen programmes from the BBC Archive. For this collection, Sir Michael Parkinson has selected BBC interviews with influential figures of the 20th century. More programmes on this theme and other BBC Four collections are available on BBC iPlayer. Mr Darley, we're going to talk in English, which I know is not your language, but I'm sure you're going to manage wonderfully. Uh, yes, uh, my English uh, remains very, very problematic. But uh, this is not so important because si somebody catch only a little piece of my ideas, this is absolutely sufficient because Dalinian ideas possess one tremendous power of germination. Well, I quite see that. And also I would beg of you to speak and speak ceaselessly even if you don't speak in English because I'm always accused of speaking and I want to speak as little as possible otherwise I shall be torn limb from limb. The first question that I wanted to put to you, it really ought to be about modern art, but I can't help it. There's some delicious frivolity in you which makes me ask it is, how did you manage to produce those marvellous moustaches? Uh, in the beginning of uh, this moustache, you use one very natural product, the uh, like death, mm. you know, the fruit. I know. In the last moment of dinner, uh, not clean my finger. Yes. Only put a little in my moustache, remind for... All afternoon, very, uh, very efficient, efficient, efficiently. Mm. Well, and but that's how it began. Yes, but now use one real product, very good, in the Place Vendôme, is Hungarian wax. Oh, yes. Pino. It's and very well known wax. is already Proust, Marcel Proust, is the same. Yes, but his was a little pointed one, wasn't it? It didn't have a splendid up uh, turn yes, like yours. Yes, his is a uh, wax, may use his wax in one other manner, in one other mood, in one depressing psychosis uh, way. Yes, you know, I see. A little depressing and melancholic. Mm. Uh, my moustache, contrarily, is very gay, very, very gay. pointed, very aggressive. aggressive. Do you have any trouble with it at night? I mean, do you have to peg it or anything like that, or does it stand up at night? No, in the night, uh, clean every night. Mm. If it comes in soft, uh, sleep. So at uh, night it droops down while you're sleeping. Completely. BBC Four Collections, specially chosen programmes from the BBC Archive. For this collection, Sir Michael Parkinson has selected BBC interviews with influential figures of the 20th century. More programmes on this theme and other BBC Four collections are available on BBC iPlayer. Mr Darley, we're going to talk in English, which I know is not your language, but I'm sure you're going to manage wonderfully. 
Uh, yes, uh, my English uh, remain very, very problematic, but uh, this is not so important because see, somebody catch only a little piece of my ideas, this is absolutely sufficient because Dalinian ideas possess one tremendous power of germination. Well, I quite see that.